this damn segment, we get a three-on-one Lucha House Rules handicap match. Lucha House Party versus Scott Dawson. Dawson cut a promo before the match. Similar to his uh, promo last week, said that we need to teach the Lucha House Party the real rules because they don't respect any rules. JoJo then announced that this was this match would be taking place under Lucha House rules. Dawson and Wilder, again, were surprised to hear that. I think it was Renee said that I talked with Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson before this match, and they said if the Lucha House Party tried any of their chicanery or whatever during this match where they make it a handicap, they're going to file a formal complaint. I was like, okay. Yeah, way, to make, way to make these two guys just seem like the... A formal <laughs> complaint to who? Baron Corbin, who puts himself in handicap matches against baby faces? I, it'll be a formal complaint <clears throat> to Vince McMahon about, please, we're requesting our release. No, no. Here's the thing. So you've got these baby faces in the Lucha House Party that think it's cool to do handicap matches where they have the advantage, and the announcers are touting how Lucha House rules. That's the way they do it. But then you go into the, the more main event scene where you've got like the almighty Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre and, and Baron Corbin putting themselves in, in handicap matches and whatnot. And you got the announcers going, this isn't fair. This isn't right. Why do they have to have the advantage? You can't take them on, you know, sing, one-on-one. Like there's no consistency there. In one hand, you're saying that a, a handicap match is perfectly fine. But then the other hand, you're like a handicap match is unfair and not just. I don't know, man. Where do you blur those lines, you know? You you, you don't. You, at this point, you don't. You, you, you kind of just learn to just roll with whatever the f*** they're throwing at you. And that's the upsetting thing to me. That's the thing that gets me was that we're just supposed to accept this bass backwards way of thinking from, the, from whatever the creative team is that thinks this would be a great idea to do tonight. Let's have this Lucha House rule. Par- I don't give a what it's called it's because it took you know one of your most promising tag teams in the revival who could work a completely different style from every single team every single tag team across raw smackdown and nxt they had a hard style which was different so you could pair them with every other tag team and it fits so well but now you have them going against going up against lucha house party for what so you could so so you can make the joke of a formal complaint that's Bullshit. Do you remember how hyped every single motherfucker was when they were like, oh my god, they they op- they answered the open challenge against the New Day and they knocked down that ice cream cart and they looked so badass? To come to this? That's upsetting. And I don't give a fuck about any injuries. I don't give a shit. Right, right, right. No, I know you're Any not. injuries. Now, I, I don't know. During this match, I, I take it the Young Bucks were watching Raw tonight because during this match, Matt Jackson would take to Twitter to tweet the following. Did you see this tweet? No, because I don't care. He said, one day we'll wrestle the revival and everyone will rejoice. Remember this tweet. I'm now there was sure a rumor. I'm, sh- I'm sure the revival will leave. Now there was a rumor last week that there were two WWE superstars that were interested in leaving soon, like within the next couple of months. And that apparently they are close with guys starting all elite wrestling. A lot of people thought that was Gallows and Anderson because of their Bullet Club tie-in, but maybe it was the revival. I I can guarantee you, no matter what, they're going to to leave. And, and Mark Brown and Chad says, "Do you think this Lucha House Party gimmick is getting old?" Very. It got old real quick. Let's continue on, like, so I don't. L- l- one last with answering his question, I was excited when I saw a new tag team on Raw, but then when they were like, they can do whatever they want, they can, they can. You know, it's it's not Freebird rules. It's not New Day rules. It's Lucha House Party rules. At least the New Day has the common decency to only pick two people for their tag matches. So, we have three on one. All three House Party men, Lucha House Party guys, against Scott Dawson. Kalisto gave Dawson to Selena Del Sol. Grab Metal League one with a springboard. Sent on. Corey Graves yelled about how ridiculous this was. And Michael Cole tried to justify it. 